Hello, uh, today I'm going to be giving you a demo of uh, Free Speech, showing you some of the recent updates. Free Speech is a picture board app that lets people make collections of buttons that do things to help them. Uh, the most basic thing that happens when you press a button uh, is to play a sound. Yes. So uh, you also have a collection of buttons uh, called a tab. And you can have multiple tabs, which means on a single device you can have uh, even hundreds of buttons on the same device. Uh, and all of them can be programmed through the interface. Uh, you can edit, uh, re relocate buttons, sort them, move them around. Uh, one of the things we've added recently is uh, the ability to drag and drop buttons to move them around, uh, which uh, people were asking for a way to sort data uh, and now we have that. So same thing for tabs, you can move them around, which means you can rapidly put together a lot of content. So what I've done uh, in the last week is to put together a set of default data based on feedback from clinicians and end users, and I'll give you a quick demo of that. So uh, we start on the home tab. Uh, we have basic things, yes, no, maybe, uh, answers to simple questions. Uh, but we also have this I button which uh, gets us started on most of the complex sentences. So for example, I want to go outside. So you can see, I'm going to take you through that again. When I touched I, I it switched to the needs tab, which includes a bunch of connecting words uh, that will get you to actions, places, and feelings. So for example, I already touched I. Now I can say I want to. Want to. And go, go will take me to places. Oh. So uh, we've also included sorry, we've also included on the places tab and uh, which lets you construct things like I want to go to the bedroom and sleep. Or I want to go to the living room and read. And uh, it also works to a certain extent with uh, other people. So, for example, uh, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you this one. We want to go to the living room and watch TV. So you can see, you can put together some pretty complex sentences. Um, you have a bunch of things. You have feelings, uh, both positive and negative and also uh, some, some actual sensations, hot, cold, thirsty, hungry, um, so that people can communicate discomfort more easily, or comfort. So um, there's also questions. I'm still working on this one. Ah, you can see that one of the buttons that I rearranged earlier in a demo is out of order, so I'll show you the interface again to fix that. See? So um, I just added a May I button. Uh, which I think is nice, especially if you're working with younger kids and you want to get them used to actually being polite while they're talking. They now have the ability to say, May I go to the bathroom? For example, or May I please go outside? So I did a little bit of trickery with the back button. Uh, the, the, on all of the other tabs except for the home, there's a back button to take you to the home. Uh, but the idea is that you can do multiple chains uh, by going back to the beginning. Um, and I hope that this kind of thing will be really useful for people. Um, but um, this is the first pass, so I wanted to get it out here. Uh, if you've got the existing data uh, and you want to try it out, you go to the Tools menu uh, and then you hit the Reset to Demo Data. And it, it will save your current data so that you can load that later. But basically, you can use this now the way it is, and you can change anything about it. So what I'm going to do really quickly is switch to the demo data to show you a few other features that are still there. Um, it's saving my existing data. So um, this is the old uh, layout and tabs. It was much simpler. It was designed to show you what could be done. So for example, it showed you better that you could do uh, color for buttons, color for tabs, um, images as backgrounds. And also, if your device has a microphone, you can also record sound. So if you have a caregiver, for example, who can speak, uh, they can record sounds for um, people. Uh, or if you want to do something more social, people can record their own names.
names. Um, when you're editing a button, uh, you can actually not just add images that are built in, you can also use your camera, which means that if you've got it on your device, your, your phone, I mean, um, you could, uh, for example, add a picture of an individual to the button that has their name on it, which um, it's simple, but I think uh, nice. So um, if you're curious, the demo data is still available, um, and it takes you through some of the other features and some of the background behind the app. Uh, but I'm going to reset it to the default data again because that is designed for daily use. So um, what I'm hoping is that uh, people are going to give this a try and let me know how it works for them. Is that? <laughs> but um, take a look, try it out, and uh, get in touch if you have any feedback. Love to hear from you.